telling me I killed somebody, man. You telling me I killed somebody, man, and I ain't killed nobody. Here you are using his debit card, you got on his hat, pants look the same, shoes look the same. They are the same. That's you. You talking about, no, it, it's, I never used a debit card. The video says you're full of crap. This is Timothy Floyd, who thinks he can get away with killing his best friend, in spite of the dozens of security cameras having captured every moment of his evil cover-up. You recognize that guy walking away from that car? No, sir. You, do you recognize um, the jacket that that person's wearing? No, sir. Is that you? No. With denial this persistent, law enforcement has their work cut out for them. How will they be able to trick a man this dismissive into making a confession as shocking as this one? How many times do you think you hit him? Did you just black out? Or? No, I ain't black out. I hit about four times. On January 25th, 2020, a security system protecting a vacant house in Tallahassee, Florida was triggered, alerting a local police officer to check the property. They were expecting at the most to uncover a thief or maybe just a squatter. What they found instead was shocking. In the front yard of the house, a large object was wrapped in blankets and plastic. As officers began to peel away the layers, they came face to face with the deceased body of 28-year-old Jonathan Spooner, who had been beaten to death. Johnny, as his family called him, was a vibrant spiritual man who graduated from Florida State University with a double major in psychology and criminology. He had a wealth of friends, seven sisters, and a family that loved him dearly, which only made the news of his death more heartbreaking and confusing for the community. Fortunately, law enforcement didn't have to look far to find their first suspect. Directly across the street from Jonathan's body was the home of 37-year-old Timothy Lee Floyd, his close friend and also a notorious criminal. Tim Floyd had been arrested several times since the early 2000s for multiple robberies with a firearm, drug offenses, grand thefts, and burglaries. At the time of Jonathan's murder, he hadn't even been out of prison for a year from his last criminal offense. His experience, however, didn't seem to culminate in a lot of skill evading the police. After pulling security footage from Jonathan's last known locations, as well as footage from a nearby lot where his car was abandoned, officers found themselves face to face with Floyd, who appeared in footage with Jonathan in the beginning of the night, and later appeared in footage using Jonathan's debit card without him. Police quickly requested a search warrant for Floyd's house and took him into custody. Even with plenty of evidence, they were in for one of the toughest interrogations of their careers. The footage that you are about to see was provided to us by the Tallahassee Police Department in Florida. Hey, Cole, in this yeah, um, I think you'll be over here. I'll see if they got like a blanket or something. It is a little chillier in here, isn't it? Or they can turn this down. search warrant for your residence, so that's why everybody's there. Um, Judge Richardson signed it today. I got a copy um, that I can get to you. What is it for? What is the search warrant for? Yeah. It's a reference to the, uh, well, here is if you want to read it. Okay. That's a copy of it. To obtain a search warrant for an investigation, law enforcement must submit an affidavit to a judge outlining their evidence to warrant a search of a suspect's property. In this case, 
law enforcement have more than enough probable cause. And though their list of reasons for searching Floyd's home is longer than a CVS receipt, Floyd is going to deny each and every one in ways you'll have to see to believe. Law enforcement reads Floyd his Miranda rights before the real questioning begins. Now would be a great time to ask for a lawyer, but Floyd is so confident they have no evidence against him that it doesn't even seem to cross his mind to request one. Do you know this gentleman? Yeah, that's us. Nice. Who is he? Spoon. Spooner? Yeah. Okay. Who, who is that? That's my friend. Okay. How, how do you know him? Facebook. You guys are friends on Facebook? Yeah, we're friends on Facebook, dude. We ain't got good friends. Now you start giving me rides and stuff. Oh, okay. When, when, when's the last time you saw him? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I mean. Okay. That's no problem. Um, yes, sir. So you, and you call him Spooner? I call him Spooner, yeah. Right, you say y'all met on Facebook? Yes, sir. All right, let's talk about how, how did that happen? He sent me a friend request. He just sent you a message out of the blue? Y'all never met before or anything? No. Okay, so he sent you this friend request about how long ago was that? Uh, if you can get my phone, you can know it's that. Okay, is your phone at your house? Yes, sir. Okay, all right, we, we can go back to that. Um, but let's, in general terms, has it been like a month? Six months, a year, five years, you know, that's the um, I got out soon. About around October, November. About October, November? Yes, sir. Okay, so October, November. Um, he sends you a friend request. You accept it. When is the first time y'all met in person? It doesn't have to be exact, man. Yeah, about a month after that. So about a month after? Okay, tell me about that. Where'd y'all where'd y'all meet? Okay, we met at my house. Okay, so okay. he came to your house? He came to my house because he was trying to sell some Adderall. He was trying to sell some Adderall. Okay, so he so sells he, Adderalls? Yeah, he sells Adderall. He was trying to get me to get somebody to help him sell some Adderall. Okay, so... But wait. I told him I don't know nobody to sell Adderall. I mean, buy Adderall because I don't do prescription drugs or nothing. I don't sell drugs, period. Okay. So... Which is a good thing, obviously. Yeah, so, but, so, you know, but, you know, um, well, let, let's he'll, he'll text me, like, four or five times a day. He would text you four or five times a day? Yeah. All right, what, what's your phone number? But we don't have each other's phone number. All right, well, so it's on message. Oh, it's on Facebook message. Facebook. Okay, so, all right, that's what you mean by text. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right, well, let's go back to the first time he comes to your house. He's coming over there to see if you know anybody to help him sell some Adderalls. Right. Okay. Uh, did he ask you that on Facebook first, or why come to your house to do that? Right. He came to my house to do that, because you don't talk like that on Facebook. Okay. All right. Um, so about how long was he there? Uh, A minute, or did y'all hang out? Or? Um, we sat down and talked about 30 minutes. Okay. And then he left. All right. You remember that conversation at all? Or? Well, uh, I sat down and talked to him. I didn't know he was gay. Okay. You know? So, that kind of just, I was like, yeah, you got to go. Okay. So, and, yeah. All right, then he left. Right. Um, but then after that, you guys continued to talk. You said about four yeah. or five times a day yeah. he hit you up? See, see, after that, we had got straight. Okay. Um. What would y'all talk about on a daily basis? He'll just give me, like, encouraging words, like, uplifting, things like that. I'll give him thumbs up, okay, you know. Okay. Then my car broke down. All right. How long ago was that? Uh, my water pump went out in around Thanksgiving. Okay. Man, that's a bad time of year for that to happen. Yeah. A lot of family gatherings. That was, that was, that was, that was I was giving, in process of getting it fixed now. Okay. But anyway, um, anyway. Uh, I cashed out, I, I test him, I cash out and tell him to take me to work. So, so did you pay him to take you to work? I pay him to take me to work, I cash out. I okay. give him like $10. Then it got to the level, right, mm -hmm. where he was like, no, could you just um let me stay the night and then we'll be straight. I was like, man, that's cool. But then it got to the point, like, he started trying to do that all the time. So mm -hmm. I asked him, I said, damn, man, what you homeless? Mm -hmm. He said, yeah. I said, man, listen, man, this is what I do for you, man. I let you stay here at least twice a week, but you ain't finna stay here all the time. 
Okay. So did, would he stay there twice a week? He'll stay two days a week. Okay. And then the two days a week, he'll take a shower because he ain't have nowhere to bathe or nothing there. Jeez, okay. Okay. And then I gave him some clothes. Okay. I gave him a blanket. Okay. I gave him some sheets. All right, so let's talk about this. So he stays at your house twice a week. When that happens, where does he sleep? Is it the same place every time? Yep. You got a spot for him? Yep, it's his back room. It's, 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 it's a mattress in my back room that he okay. sleeps in. All right, if I come in your front door, right? If I come in your front, front door. I'm go to the right. Go to the right. And go to the it's, it's a room with real carpet. It's a mattress in there. That's where he sleeps. Okay, where do you sleep? I sleep in my bed. Okay, well, which room is yours? The room across the hall. The room across the hall from his or going to the left? No, on this side is the red is the room with the red cover. On this side is my room. Okay. All right. So if I walk in the door, your room's on the left. Right. Being on this side. If I can make a right, his room's with red carpet. Right. And he stayed there about twice a week. Right. Okay. See, did he leave stuff there or No, nah, he ain't leave nothing there. Okay. So he, he didn't have slowly move it in or not. He didn't have anything. That's what I'm okay. telling you. He didn't have nothing. Okay. So okay. look. So, so look. We had got an all right relationship, you know. Mm -hmm. we, it wasn't no sexual relationship or none of that, man. It was like a good friendship. Okay. So he you become know? a good friend of you. Yeah, right? he can a good friend of me, you know. <laughs> so he'll test me, and I'll test him back. He'll ask me, do I need a ride to call him later? Mm -hmm. he'll cash, if I ain't got no money, he'll cash out me some. If he need money, I'll cash out him. And then we got close. We got straight like okay. that. Then he started taking me to work. Okay. Because, you know, my car was messed up. Like I said, I'll catch the bus, and when, he, when I get off, mm -hmm. he'll come pick me up. And then he'll ask me to stay sometimes. Sometimes it'd be cold as hell out there, man. So I don't yeah, man. Him. It's not every day that you randomly stumble upon a person on Facebook that is willing to drive you to work, pick you up from work, and send you money whenever you need it in the name of friendship. It's worth noting that in just six minutes, Floyd has repeatedly tried to affirm that his relationship with Jonathan wasn't sexual, and has hinted that he disapproves of homosexuality with his statement that he kicked Jonathan out when he discovered he wasn't straight. So, were they friends? Or was it more? At the time of his death, Jonathan was comfortably out and proud of his sexuality. In 2018, his long-term boyfriend, who he described as the love of his life, died of a brain tumor at just 33 years old. Jonathan frequently went by the name Johnny Jackson, using his partner's last name in honor of him. In 2019, he posted that he would never date again for as long as he lived. Okay. Yes, so it sounds like y'all had a good thing going. Yes, sir. Okay. So, when's the last time you had any communication with Spooner? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Yes, sir. All right. So, Wednesday morning. I'm going to pull that calendar here, man, because... I'm going to tell, exactly tell you exactly what happened Wednesday morning. Okay, good. Tell me what happened Wednesday morning. I was sleeping on the sofa. You're sleeping on the sofa Wednesday morning. He got his chick. He, got he was what? happy. His chick? His chick. His chick. He was happy. He got his chick. He got up. He went to Boston Ryan, yeah, in the glory, hallelujah, finally, Jesus, I got my chick. You know? Is this like morning time? It's in the morning. It's like early, what time? It's early in the morning. It's around 6 o'clock, sir. Around 6 a.m.? Yes, sir. It's around 6 o'clock, sir. So okay. he get up. He said, man, get up, man. Let's go get some cigarettes and let's go to McDonald's. And I said, man, I'm good, man. Okay. You know? So this is what he do. He get on the phone okay. and he's talking to some of the co-worker. He you called a co-worker? Yeah. Okay. Her name was Tiffany. I remember her name. The co-worker name Tiffany. was Tiffany. Okay. okay, listen, he telling her, he asking her, did he cash, she um, gave him some money, he cashed up her back. Okay. He cashed up her back, and they was talking, boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. Then, he said, man, come on, man, let's go to McDonald's or something like that, I'm going to give you 20 off and let me stay there and shit like that. Okay. I said, man, come on. So we go, first we go to Circle K. Right. First we go to Circle so K. So you went with him to Circle K that morning? Yes, sir. All right, then what happened? And then you went to the bank, at Capital City Bank, and he got me twenty dollars. Capital City Bank, where that one at? That's on, that's on, um, on, on Adam Street. Is that where he, is that where he banked at? Um, I don't know where he banked at. Okay, so yo, why was he giving you? Why was he throwing twenty bucks your way? Because he said, because I let him stay though. I thought you let him stay there in turn for the ride. But he'll still give it to me. That's why I want you to get my phone, man, so you can understand what I'm saying, man. Okay. All right, so. All right, so they don't make a whole lot of sense, but okay, because because you also paid him for gas too, right? Yes, so you sir. let him stay there, yes, and now he's just throwing money your he, way. But he, that's the type of person he is, though. He was a good guy. He's a good guy. Okay. That's just the type of person he is, because he know this. He know that I get paid on Friday, okay. and it's middle of the week. It's Wednesday, and he know I really ain't got nothing. You get paid every Friday. I get paid every Friday from bonus. So bonus. Okay. And then, right. and then, I like I just said, I know him, and he'll know me. Sure. Okay. Yes, sir. 
All right, so was it a loan or was he giving you that 20? I guess he was just giving it to me. Well, what did he say when he gave it to you? He was like, man, you good. You know I mean? Did I need some more? I was like, no. Did he only get $20 or did he get more? No, he just got 20 Okay, so he goes, he gets you up, he's happy, he gets his, his paycheck, y'all go to McDonald's, he gets some hot cakes, he's buying for you. Right. Then he goes over to the, uh, the, the bank. Gap, the Gap City Bank. Gap City Bank. Yes, sir. And he goes there for no other reason just to get you that 20 Yes, sir. Right. Yeah, he's a generous guy. All right, so where do you guys go after that Cap City Bank? Back to my house. I go back to my house. He said, can I take a shower before I go to work? Okay. I said, go ahead, man. All right. No. And then he called his own another co-worker. Called another I, I, co-worker. I don't know what her name was, but he was asking her, did she need a ride to work? Okay. And then he was on the phone for a minute, boom. Okay. Then he told me, he said, man, I gotta go, I'm gonna go to Walmart. No, he said he wanted to get a haircut first. A haircut for work? What yeah. time did he normally go to work? Like, nine. Where are you gonna go get a haircut for nine? So, you can get some, a couple places you can go. Okay. It's around like seven o'clock. Okay. This was around like 7 o'clock. Um, he said, we're going to get a haircut for work. Mm -hmm. He said, he need to go to Walmart. And then he said, I got to go get his brother. Okay. He said, he let his brother hold his car. And that was it. He's going to let his brother hold on to his car? Yes, sir. Okay. And what do you mean that was it? What does that mean? He let his brother borrow his car. He let a lot of people borrow his car. Okay. Yeah. So, when you say that was it, like, he just bounced or what happened? Did his brother come there and pick up the car and explain it? Despite being called out three separate times for his story not adding up, Floyd remains confident in what he's telling law enforcement. After all, in his mind, he's done a good job of covering up his tracks. Well, aside from leaving the body directly across the street from his house and having Jonathan's debit card in his wallet. And y'all are hitting each other every day. Yes, sir. So well, he, if we get that phone, your phone, we leave text, and y'all are talking every day. Yes, sir. All right, and that's normal for y'all, every single day. Yes, sir. So, and, so when I start hearing from him, it wasn't normal. When you what? When I stopped hearing from him. When did you stop hearing from him? Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Was he supposed to come back Wednesday night? No. Nah. No, he wasn't. He wasn't supposed to, but I just, it just ain't right for me not to hear from him. Because, like, every day he, he was like... He sent a message bro? asking what's up? Yeah. Okay. He text you back? Nope. He didn't say nothing? Nope. Thursday either, or Friday. No, no text, no nothing? Nope. He come around again to get him a shower or anything? Nope. That's last time? he dropped his debit card. What do you mean he dropped his debit card? That's what I said, he dropped his debit card. Where at? At my house, on the porch. He dropped his debit card yes, at sir. the house on your porch? Yes, sir. Okay. You you still got it? Is I, that the I house? picked it up. Okay. You holding on to it for yes, him? Yes, sir. Did you text him, hey man, I got your debit card? Nope. Why would you do that? Because I'll wait for him to come back. I know I'm going to hear from him. Well, you're worried about him, right? You're like, hey man, what, what's up? Where what's you at? Up? What's I got your debit card. I asked him. You asked, you asked him, him where he was at. You asked him where he was at? Yeah, because he was supposed to come back. So I know he was coming back. What, well, when he left, did he like pick a day that he was coming back for this like twice a week deal y'all got going on? No, I know he know I'm going to work. See, we had, like I said, we gotta understand. If you get my phone, right. you don't understand me more. Okay, and that may be something that's, that, that's that, we, that may be something we can work on, Mr. Floyd. But so I'm just trying to understand. So I want, that's he, what he, I really want. He, le he leaves Wednesday, so he's at that house. He leaves Wednesday. Yeah. I, I heard what you saying about him going. He drops the debit card. Right. You send him a message saying, "Hey man, concerned about you. Hey man, where you at? Right. Did you do that every day? Yes, sir. Every single day. Yes, sir. You message him, hey, "Where you at? Where you at? Yes, sir. Did you do it today? No, I ain't do it today. Okay, so not every day. How about yesterday? I ain't do it. I seen him on the news. You saw him on the news? Yeah, I seen you with that. Okay. All right, so what's the last day you did it? Huh? What's the last day you did it that you sent a message to? Oh, uh, it was late Friday, man. Friday. So you see him on the news when you saw him? I seen him on the news on no matter of fact, I seen him on Facebook. On Facebook? Yeah. What did you see on I, Facebook? I was, I was checking his page and I seen you were missing. So it was missing? Yeah. Wouldn't that be a reason to text him even more? But listen to this to me. Remember I told you he was finna go to Madison. He said he was finna leave everything and go to Madison. No, you didn't say that. You said that he had gone to Madison the weekend before. You said he took the shower. You said he was gonna go to work. You said he was gonna get a haircut. Okay. Then he was gonna go to Walmart. You didn't say he was going back to Madison. Okay, listen. <coughs> he said he wanted to leave and just go to Madison, period. Oh, he, he, was tired, he was tired of everything around here. 
and you just want to up and even just go to mass. But see, I wasn't concerned about him though, because sure. I know he's all right. Well, that's that, just to be fair. That's different than you say him going to Walmart, get his toiletries, getting his haircut so it looks good. That's what you're going with. Yeah. Well, yeah. So because if, if I'm going to get my haircut so it looks good for work, I ain't going to skip out on work and it bounce over to Madison. But this is too new. That, I understand what you're so saying. I'm just trying to but understand. This, I don't know if he, if he, be like, because he's crazy like that sometimes. He'll just flip out like that. Like, but just skip work I, sometimes. I, I ain't never known skip work though. I ain't never known skip. I know he didn't like it. Okay. Well, tell me more about when you say he's crazy like that. What you mean? Sometimes, like, he'll just, he get on them pills. On what, the, the Adderall pills yeah, he was selling? Yeah, what he'll else? get on them. He'll, he'll, um, he doing anything else? What's, um, what's the one that started with a V? V? The one, the, the ones you snort. All right, you know. He does, he does them too. Vi 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 Yeah. Vi 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 Okay, so he does them sometimes. Was he doing them when he was at your house Wednesday? No. Nope. He wasn't doing them Wednesday. So, so he wasn't acting crazy because of the pills Wednesday? No. He wasn't. He no seemed way. all right. But he had pills, though. Okay. So, all right. You get my phone, you can you can see anything that anything that you want to know about him, about mm -hmm. what been going on, because he tells me everything, man. If you get my phone, I'll put it on right now for you. Okay. And your phone is where? It's at my house. Where in the house? It was right by, it was right on the sofa. Right by the sofa. Okay, like I said, you, we can work on that. I, I want to take you I, on that. I, I won't, listen, I want you to get my phone because I want to get the phone out of here, man. Perfect. And, and I can appreciate that, Mr. Floyd, because the sooner we can get past you, if you got nothing to do with this, the sooner we can move on and you know, find out what happened to your friend. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with this shit, man. Yeah, no. Okay, so he's there last there Wednesday. I'm glad you got his debit card. Um, what was he wearing when he left your house Wednesday? What was he wearing? Mm -hmm. I, I gave him a... Um, I gave him a... Um, I'm going to say well, after everything I gave him again, I gave him a, um, a blanket, a sheet, because he was cold. Mm -hmm. He had nothing. When he, when he was in the car, he had nothing to work with him. I mm -hmm. gave him a blanket, a sheet. I think my blanket was red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave him a red blanket because I didn't want to get him uncomfortable. Okay. My, my comfort that my mom gave him, I didn't want to get him that. Right. So what about the blanket? What about it? You said you gave him a blanket, a I sheet? I gave him a blanket, a sheet. What did the blanket look like? It was red. Okay, so there's a red blanket. What else you give him? A uh, blanket sheet. I gave him um, Oh, I'm sorry. What's the sheet look like? Um, the sheet that I got on my bed. Is the sheet that you got on your bed? Yeah. Okay. You look like the sheets I got on my bed. Well, I've been honest. I haven't been in your house, sir. So <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's the um, sheets look like, man? I think, I think they got, um, I think they got flowers on them. You got some flower sheets? Yeah, flowers. Um, cause I had like roses three, or I something? Because I, I got three of them. Yeah, three of them. Yeah, so I got three of them, so I gave him one. Like what color ro what color flowers? They like roses, they like like bright red, what are we talking about? No, they ain't bright red, they like uh, like pink really. Okay. So you have some pink flower sheets. Right. Okay. So he can lay on the bed so he can lay on the bed with. Uh, okay, so he made them on a bed. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but so they're at your house on his bed. The yeah. sheets you gave him. Yeah. But when he ain't eat, but he but he can take it with him. When he when he don't stay with me. Cause he had got another house. Okay, so he took those sheets with him? Yeah. Okay, so they're not at your house on his bed? No. Okay, I say his bed, the room you let him sleep. No, he's, he's not, he's not in there right now. Oh, no. uh, okay. He took right. it with him. All right, well, we went from what he was wearing to you, you telling us some sheets. Suspects who are guilty will often provide more information than what is needed in order to appear like they're being helpful or in an attempt to cover their tracks. In this case, Floyd is doing both. The blanket and sheets that he has randomly brought up are what law enforcement discovered Jonathan's body wrapped in. This information had not been given to the public at the time of the interrogation. Well, why the heck did he end up across the street? You tell me. What I, I'm trying to pick your brain. You, you're there. You have this good relationship with him. He stayed in your house twice a week. He was last day or Wednesday. Um, you, know, so you, you helped me out. Well, listen, man. What did you think he was doing over there? I actually don't know. I don't know. Because you, you got to admit, it's strange he's right across the street from your house. I understand that, man. But like I said, man, when I left to go to work at 3 o'clock mm -hmm. that morning, it wasn't nobody across that street, man. When I came back at 7 o'clock, it still wasn't nobody across that street. So. Where you went to work at? At uh, Temple Israel. Where, where is that? At preschool. That's you at, doing your preschool. Doing janitor. It wasn't nobody across that street, man. We need your help then, Mr. Floyd, um, because I like pictures. Pictures kind of help 
show the story. It's one thing to be told something, it's something different to actually see it. Yeah. You agree? Yes, sir. Right. So, let's talk about his car. His car was found kind of close to your house and the house where he was found. Okay. It was found up the road. All right. Yeah, our printer is absolute crap, but you recognize that guy walking away from that car? No, sir. You, do you recognize um, the jacket that that person's wearing? No, sir. Never seen anything like that before? No, sir. Okay. And that bright yellow, I mean, it looks like a freaking highlighter. That, that would definitely stick out, right? No. Yep. You agree? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, did, did Spooner ever have a jacket like that? You ever see him anything like that? I don't know. Okay. Do, I, I do, you, do you have anything like that? No, I don't own nothing like that. Okay. Is that you? Nope. That's definitely not you. Definitely not me. 100%. 100. Okay. I got, I got another question for you, man. Yeah, like I said, big on pictures. Helps me out. Where'd that come from? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Well, we pulled it from your trash can this morning. Inside your trash bag. With stuff with your name on it, your beer bottles. So, is that mine, Mr. Floyd? I didn't even charge. That's not going to go well for you, man. Uh, li listen, I, I know you've been locked up before. I know you don't want to do it again. But listen, I need to know the truth. I don't. Let, let's talk for two seconds. Do you trust? Two seconds. That's it, please. I will respect you. I want to hear what you have to say, but just listen to me. All right. I have a lot of evidence in this case, a lot of things I want to talk to you. I ain't going to throw it all down. Some of it I'm going to do to test you to see what you're going to be straight with me. I know what happened to Spooner. I want to know why. I, I want to li listen. This is just a small piece. You telling me that this right here, and you have no idea why it was in your trash can? Pull up your trash can. He's found across the street. He's last at your house. Last place that he was at before you said he left, his car is parked near your house. Guy walking out of his car, we have him on video, going back towards your house wearing that rain jacket, and you throw this away? I don't got nothing to do with that, sir. Okay, so there's no way on earth Prince, DNA, nothing of yours is going to be on that? No. Nope. Okay. Even though it was inside your bag of trash, That's not mine, I, I can go back to my computer. I can print you where we took it out of your trash That's cool. with with pictures of your your uh, I think it was work checks, maybe some pay stub stuff. First, I mean I, I can. That, that's not good for you. Listen, man, I don't got nothing to do with it. Okay, so, so ha, let, let's be, let's use some reason, some logic. How how did it get there? Yeah, you tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm asking you, sir. That's what I need to know. And you, you know, some people, some people think that we come in here and. Listen, yes, I ain't come in here to play. I came in here to get the f out of here. Well, we, I ain't got nothing to do with this man, though. Well, Absolutely he, nothing. Look, Absolutely nothing. Well, and, and that's what I need your help for. It, it truly is. That's what I need my phone for, man. What's in your phone? I'm tell I will see you see everything that's going on, man. I ain't never had no bad relationship with that man. We ain't never had no words. No words. No, no, no discrepancy, no nothing. Well. Um, this is a little bit different. The fact that it's in your trash bag. Well that ain't got that ain't mine. It's not yours. No. How how could it have gotten in there? I don't know, sir. You no idea. The only thing more damning that police could have found while searching for evidence is a signed confession from Floyd. That, of course, will come in time. But first, he's got to try absolutely every last thing he can think of to try and wiggle his way out of this, even if it makes as little sense as the items in his trash can not belonging to him. I've been, I've been home all day, so. Okay. So, which, which is good. So you want to take me at my word, or you want to see some more pictures with it, with your birth certificate, with you know the, the other I, stuff? I ain't got to see nothing of. Okay, so so you got no issues with the fact that I'm telling you we found this in your trash. Yeah. You, you accept, you take my word on it. Yeah. All right, cool. But this. Well, you, so let, let's kind of pretend this puzzle here. So we got you and Mr. Spooner. All right. Okay. You guys are friends. He stays at your house sometimes. He stayed there Wednesday. All right. 
After Wednesday, he goes missing. Right. He don't show up for work. Right. Okay. So that's not good. All right. Um, his body's found literally across the street from your house. It's not like on the other side of Tallahassee. It's across the street from your house. Right. You got his debit card. Right. All right. The guy that dumped his car, that dumped it right up the road, he's wearing the rest of this outfit. And this outfit's in your trash can. And this, like I said, this is just a small piece. Right. But we could agree that doesn't look good for you. Right, but, but at the same time, man, that ain't like, that ain't like no whole jacket. Like what that man got on, that's just like a hood. And I don't know where the f that came from. Yeah. I definitely don't. Well, I don't think you're telling me the truth on that, but we can go back to it. Uh, I'm telling you the truth on everything. You're telling me the truth on everything? Everything. I ain't got nothing to lie. Right. So. This is you. We both know that's you. That's a picture of you from the other day. Yeah, we'll talk to you. Okay. And you said you got uh, Spooner's debit card. Yeah. Never used it. Nope. Okay. Well, this is you fixing you Spooner's debit card wearing the same jacket. Like I said, we got a shitty printer, but we got a lot more. We got the whole video on it, but that's your same jacket, and unfortunately, that's Spooner's hat, bro. That's me. Yeah, that's you. And you used his debit card. I didn't use his debit card. Well, period. I got a debit card. I didn't never use it. Well, guess what? what? Why do you think we had this picture? I don't know. We had this picture because you're saying this is you. Is this me? this guy on the video uses his debit card to make a purchase. As is after Wednesday. So you saying this is you. The store records in their video saying you use Spooner's debit card to make a purchase. You told me you didn't use it. I didn't use it. How does that make sense? I paid cash. How does that make sense? I paid cash when I went in there. Okay, so the bank records are lying. Yeah. Because how would I know what time to look to see when you went to the I store? Don't know, man. I mean, it's by happenstance at the time we went to look at the store and the person using Spooner's debit card, boom, is you? I didn't use the card, sir. I am sorry, I ain't never used that card. You, I ain't listen, never used that card. I don't even know the pen number, sir. You don't, need, don't know the pen number? I don't number. know the pen number. Okay, so I come back here with a video and a bank record showing that this person that we agree is you is using his debit card, his credit card. You see why that's another problem? Yeah. Well, that's, that's truth. No BS. There are even more condemning elements of the photo law enforcement is showing Floyd. The photo, which is a screenshot of a surveillance video from Dollar General, shows Floyd using Jonathan's debit card to purchase some snacks at 7.34 p.m. on January 23rd, the day after Jonathan missed work for the first time. Later that day, he withdrew $300 from Jonathan's account using an ATM. In the videos, Floyd is wearing a hat that belonged to Jonathan. What happened? I don't know. I definitely don't know, sir. I don't know what happened to that man. Mr. Floyd, I've talked to a lot of people in this room sitting in the exact same seat that you are right now, okay? I try to be respectful to them, try to be straight with them, but they always think that, you know, lying is the best way. But I'm here to tell you it's not because it, only, it makes you look guilty. You talk about, no, it's, I never used a debit card. The video says you're full of crap. You say that that's you, the video shows you using the debit card, is what it is. You're saying that this piece of this jacket didn't get in your trash can, you have no idea how it is, but you agree that it's there. Okay. We can keep going round and round, and I can show you more and more and more, but we're not going to do that. Man. Something happened between you and Sponer. I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know if it came at you. I don't know if you broke in your house in the middle of the night and you had to defend yourself. I don't know. But this is the only time we're going to talk where you get a chance to tell me what happened. I do not know what happened to that man, sir. I honestly do not know what happened to that man, sir. I do not know. No clue. I do not know what happened to that man, sir. But we agree that we got some major issues, his body being across the street from your house. That's we agree true. that you being on video using his credit card and your credit card, his credit card being in your wallet is a big deal. We can agree that the fact that the car got dumped right up the road from his house where you dump it and you walk back and you're captured on video going back towards your house wearing that same yellow jacket and we find a piece of it in your garbage can, we can agree those are all problems, correct? Well, that's not my, that's not me walking from that car, man. 
I ain't having Dale call. I ain't had that man call. So? I ain't had that bitch call. You not. No, I ain't got his call. Okay, you can sit here, you can say it's not you, but we can agree, logically, that that's a big problem, that that guy on video, I could, we have it, goes back towards your house. Walk in that direction. He went in my house. I said towards your house. Okay. But you can agree that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chance that that's not me. Well, the fact that a piece of the jacket's in your trash says otherwise. I don't, let, let me I, don't, I don't own none of that shit. I don't own okay. no jacket like that. I don't but own the other stuff in your trash can is yours. Yeah. The beer bottles, the... What was it? The, the, the bottles. Yeah. Your birth certificate. My birth certificate was in there? Your pay stubs. I own my pay stubs, probably so. What, why are you throwing away your pay stubs and your birth certificate? I don't know. I don't court know. papers. You don't know why you're throwing that stuff away? I throw my court papers away. My court papers. Why are you doing that? Why you clean house? Okay. I mean, seriously, who would throw away a birth certificate? I didn't even know I threw my birth certificate away. So. What's that? Oh, a real one? No, it's a copy. Oh. It's a copy of it. I don't keep tape on the pay stores, though. But the birth certificate copy. Contract trash bags you use? Um, the ones I get from my own job. A color on it. Okay. Where do you keep your where do you, where do you keep your trash in your house? I don't have a trash can. You just put them in a the bag. Yeah. Just throw the bag in trash. Yes, sir. When you take your, when, when do you take your trash to the curb? Um, Monday. Monday you, night. You pull it out to the curb on Monday. Yeah. From what side of the house? This is right there, but by, by, by my own, by the fence, my trash can. So it's not logical that somebody would go in your trash can, open up a trash bag, and put something in there, right? No. And then close it up. No. Without you knowing about it. No. That that's not that's not logical. Right. So when we talk about this man in the yellow hood walking back to your house, towards your house, wearing the exact same type of material, same type of clothing, and then that ended up in a trash bag alongside your documents that you agreed that was in the trash, right? Right. How do you explain that? I, I, I don't know how to. The jacket and the birth certificate weren't the only strange things law enforcement found in Floyd's trash can. Inside, they discovered a blue latex glove matching a piece of glove that they discovered next to Jonathan's body. Another glove was also found disposed of on the bicycle path that the person driving Jonathan's car was seen walking down. Essentially, Floyd left a trail of evidence leading directly to his door. Naturally, he can't explain how this evidence got here other than repeatedly saying he didn't do anything. In his continuous denial, the detective does a phenomenal job of disproving his lies while also remaining respectful enough to ensure Floyd doesn't lawyer up on them out of frustration. When you learned your good buddy, Mr. Spooner, who you last spent the night at your house on Wednesday, right. and you saw all those police in that yard. Tuesday, when you learned Tuesday night, right? On Tuesday night, he left Wednesday morning. The guy just threw you a twenty dollar bill, bought you some um, what was it, McDonald's, bought you some breakfast. He's right. a generous guy, and you and I had talked, and you learned that his body was found right across the street. Right. You didn't think to call me. You didn't think to call the police and be like. Hey, I know you were looking for him. He was over here just the other day. I should have did that. Yeah, probably should have. Why didn't you? I should have did You that. cared about him. He's your buddy. I He's helping you out. Why would you not pick up the phone? I should have did that. Yeah. I should have did okay. that. So why didn't you? I, I did. You just... I should have did that, though. Yeah. I damn so should have did that. Damn sure should have did what? that. So you should have been like, I got his debit card. He I was over here. He was over here. Here's exactly what happened. I know we talked the other day. He's my good friend. Let's find out who got this guy. But that's not what you did. I, I, I should have did that. But you didn't. I didn't even get your card. I didn't mm -hmm. get nothing from okay. you. You know what 911 is? You know how to get the police, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's not pretend it's because you don't know how to get in touch with the police. I, okay. I should have did that. I mean, well, you yeah. cared about this yeah. man. This man was in your house the other night. Listen. You ain't, you ain't put the damn news out there by, by this name till Monday. Okay, don't don't throw it back on us. This no, 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 no. But listen, though, man, and you can't keep my door in too. Okay. You, know? you learned that the guy that was sleeping in your house 
the guy that's throwing you money, the guy that you're standing up for going all the way to these different places, I mean, you're front for him for people you don't even know to defend him, so he's your friend, right? You right. care about right. him. I care about him a lot. Yes, sir. Okay. So you guys care about each other. You care about him a lot. He does stuff for you. You do stuff for him. You're giving him clothing. You learn that the guy found across the street when all the police are there working is your buddy. And you don't freaking call and you can't explain why. Just like you can't explain how you used his credit card. I did you with that credit card. Listen, I, I'm not going to sit here and let you lie on yourself. It's all video. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been in the stuff, man. Those people know me all the time, man. I ain't use sure. no credit card. No. Sure. So you're saying the bank records are lying. His credit card was used by you. You're saying the bank records are wrong. I ain't, I use cash. That's what you're saying. I use cash, man. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I use cash. Well, how do you think we got that video and knew when to look? I don't know. Because his credit card was used? We didn't go look at that video just because. We didn't go through there and just start looking at video and say, oh, hey, look. No. It's because that's the exact date, time, and location his credit card was used. Okay. So you're lying. I'm we not, know you're lying. I'm not lying about anything, man. I don't got nothing to lie to you about. I don't got nothing to hide from you. Nothing at all? At all. I don't got nothing to hide from you. Okay. But you can't make sense of any of the things that we're talking about. You can't make sense about the top of the uh, yellow rain jacket being in there in your trash can. You can't make sense of um, the, you were using this credit card being caught on it. You can't make sense of those things. So let's cut to it. What happened between you and Spooner? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing happened between me and John. Nothing. The man left and I ain't see him no more. He took everything he had. Yeah, he took everything he had. He ain't have nothing. Except his debit card. Except his debit card. Didn't take his debit card. That's the only thing he left. That's the only thing he left. Which, that's crazy, because that's like the most valuable thing he's got. That's access to money. But listen to me, man. What the f*** would I hurt that man for, man? Why? What What? What? What more would I do that for? I don't know. He'd come on to you? Hell no. We already got that instead. You got that part straight? We already got that part straight on the first uh, day we met. Did, did he get drunk one night and try something in the wrong He don't get drunk. He don't drink. He get doped up on his Adderall? No. He didn't try to His me. pills? No. He didn't do nothing to me. I didn't do nothing to him. And that's just what you're going with. Straight up. Didn't man, do I'm nothing. I'm telling you straight up through your eyes, man. I you, ain't... you can sit here and we can have a staring contest all day. I've been lied to you by people that have sat here and stared in my eyes. That don't mean nothing. Well, it means something is the stuff that we're talking about. What well, means something to me is me being... You telling me I killed somebody, man. You telling me I killed somebody, man. And I ain't killed nobody. Did you kill him? No. No. So we ain't gonna find any evidence of that in your house? I ain't killed nobody. So we ain't gonna find any evidence of that in your house? What you mean? That's why I'm asking you. We gonna find evidence of him being killed in your house? How are you gonna do that? I would think that the first answer would be no. You will not find any evidence of him being killed in your No, you said how. How are you gonna do that? Yeah, yeah, no, That's no. a difference. No. Are we going to find evidence of him getting killed in your house? No. You sure on that? I'm positive, man. You put the rest of your life on I that. ain't did. I ain't, what you mean I put the rest of my life? I'm getting the rest of my life, man. Well, we're talking about a murder, I man. I ain't did nothing, man. I ain't did nothing, man. You've done time before. You know what murder I, time is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not getting that time. Yeah, that's the rest of your lifetime. I ain't got time for that, man. I ain't did nothing. Unless to there's man. a reason. A reason for what? A reason for what happened to him. It ain't no reason. I ain't doing nothing to him. We ain't got nothing. To, we ain't got nothing. We ain't never had no disagreement, man. That was my dude. Mr. Floyd, would you believe you? Yeah, I believe me. No, no, no. If you were me, would you believe you? Which, what you mean? If you were the an investigator, if you were a juror, if you were somebody listening to this and having just a little bit of evidence that are shown your way and heard you say these things and then looked at the evidence, would you believe you? Would I believe that that you? Yeah, I ain't, man, I ain't. That's my question. The, the thing, the thing, the thing. Yeah, you, you were Hold on, hold on, man. The thing about the, the whole thing about the thing is, the, is the man being across the street from my house, man. Oh, man. I was not. What is it? You seen using a dead man's debit card. You seen wearing a hat, a, a hat of a guy dropping his car off is ending up in your trash with your documents. He's right. You're also seen wearing the dead guy's hat. You're also seen wearing his hat. His beanie cap. But you say he took every bit of his possessions but his debit card. How did you end up with his hat? Let me show that to you. I'll be right back.
I got it, Chris. I got it. Yeah, I got it. How do you, how do you, how do you explain that? That's another thing. That's like that, 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 that's that's I didn't know that's 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 that. I don't even got that no more. Okay. Oh, what? Well, that's convenient. That's just from the other day. Why are you going to throw away a nice hat like that, Mr. Floyd? Why would you get rid of something like that? That's a nice beanie cap. How did you get rid of it? Because it wasn't in your trash. What you do to it? It must be in the house then. Must be? It might be. Might be. So if we don't find it, what happened to it? That's a nice beanie. It was cold the other night, man. We ain't talking weeks ago. Let me see the other picture of that guy. Which one? That's uh, dropping across. That's not you? No, he said this is him. Yeah, he said that's him. Yeah, we'll pass that. Got another picture of that guy with dropping uh, car. Yeah, I thought I did. I don't know what the crap I did with it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I mean, we can print out pictures all day, but. What's that, baby? What shoes on that, man? Oh. Guess what kind of shoes we find in the house? That's not you. That's not me. That's not your shoes right now. Those aren't those white slides? Those those are, those oh, yeah. Same. You don't look the same. Oh, they convent, conveniently have the same color shoes you got on. He's wearing white slides? This hat end up in your house, in your trash can. Mr. You taking short up. You say you take the trash out. You end up with a dead guy's debit card using the dead guy's hat at this door. Explain that, man. Okay. Law enforcement is trying to give Floyd a way out. Detectives will often offer scenarios where a person would kill someone else in a way that is less intentional and more understandable. If suspects feel that detectives will understand, they're much more likely to confess. But Floyd still has some lies he wants to try out first. Little does he know, they're only gonna make things worse. This is not me, man. All right. It won't, it won't, your phone not gonna track with that guy. Shoes look the same, pants look the same, hat found in your trash can walking towards your house. Here you are using his debit card, you got on his hat, pants look the same, shoes look the same. They are the same. That's you. That's not me. This is me. That's not me. This is me. That's not me. I spend cash, so I ain't spend this card, though. I ain't put money off this card. This is not me. You ever had his keys? I don't got his keys. You ever had them? No. You ever had his phone? <laughs> After about an hour and a half of questioning, law enforcement leaves Floyd by himself while they review their notes and any new evidence that's come in from the search warrant. They purposefully leave documents on the table for Floyd to look at. And it seems that when he's left alone with the realization that law enforcement is actively searching his house, the reality of his situation sets in. <sighs> of course, detectives are monitoring his behavior when he's alone in the interrogation room. Floyd's outburst of emotion here provides them with a window of opportunity to play on his panic and vulnerability. They go about this by sending Detective Curtis, who was essentially acting as good cop during the initial interrogation, back into the room. He takes on an even more gentle, respectful approach with Floyd, acting like he's trying to help him. That's something small, man. That's something we can get past. We talking about a car thing. 
Bro, you killing somebody. Yeah. Be honest with me, man. All right, man. See, I don't want to make myself look bad, man. How you, how, what's the worst? We knowing it? You see what I'm saying? I'm saying, saying, I'm saying I already it. done So it's going to be like, what else is he lying about? That's, that's what I'm saying. So, I want to be honest with you, man. Okay, man, this. I lied out, man. That man left with David Caldwell. He left what? He left with David Caldwell and he dropped it. I went out on the board, I seen him. Um, I bought some new ports. I bought some new ports. I bought some Pringles. I bought a Powerade. Now this gonna be your test right here. Where'd you buy it from? Family Dollar. Family Dollar. Want to rush it up straight from your house? Yes, sir. Okay, how'd you get? So that's what I'm saying, man. That's something small. We knew that. We got the receipt. No problem. We got the camera. The camera show all that together. That's how we got to where that's what I'm saying. We're not telling you stuff we don't know, man. No problem. Okay. Mm. Would you buy yourself? I'll buy myself. Okay. So after that, where else did you use the car? Nowhere else. Nowhere else. No, sir. That was the only time. The only time. What made you use it that day? Because I ain't had no care. If I would get money the next day, though. From where? From my chick. Okay. And what day was that you used car? Thursday. Right. Either Wednesday night or Thursday. It was the same night or the next night. Because I ain't here from him, man. All that damn what the fuck. But you know what, that man was dead right, man. If I seen when I when I know what I was spooning around with that man, I should have just called that man, man. And said, hey man, listen man, that's my friend, man. Why didn't you call? I ain't, man, look. I just ain't want to get in the middle of it. How you been feeling, man? How you been feeling? Yeah. I've been all right. Since you found out? Since I found out you were dead? Yeah. Shit crazy, man. Talk to me. Shit crazy. What you mean? There no shit like that, man. For real. That ain't right. This ain't right, man. Why do you think it went wrong? Either two things. What's that? Either you try to say it on to somebody. Tried to sell pills and it took the ring from what else? Oh, uh, he tried somebody on. Oh, uh, yeah, one of the moment says for the little son, uh, somebody tried to rob him, I'm saying. I don't know. Just like that, in less than 10 minutes, the detective has gotten Floyd to admit that he used Jonathan's debit card and that he drove his car after over an hour of denial. Now that the ball is rolling and Floyd feels understood by the detective, how much more can he get him to confess? That's another honest thing, man. I gotta ask you. Now, I need you to be honest with me, man. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying, I'm trying to... I don't want you to get railroaded or nothing like that. Yes, man. sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If it was a reason things happened or something happened that wouldn't... Somebody, you know, if it anything that happened... All right. I want you to be honest with me, man. Right. Because that... Lying about simple stuff can make big trouble. I understand. You get that? Yes, sir. How did you end up with this hat, man? With that?
Detective Curtis leaves the room in a huff, likely in an attempt to make Floyd question the decision he's just made and make him feel vulnerable after losing the trust of the person who seemed to be on his side. Both detectives return in hopes of finally getting the truth out of Floyd, especially with the new cell phone records they've just received. Mr. Floyd, I, I could appreciate you talking to um, Investigator Richards Curtis over here and being straight with the credit card, because that made me think you were a liar. And Reasons suggest if you go to White House on a small like using a man's credit card, you line all the way up to the murder. But you're being straight about it. And I can appreciate it and I can understand why, because you know how it looked. It looked bad, man. It looked bad. But I ain't know that man was dead, so. So, but I always say, like, say thank you. I appreciate you being honest with this, because during the loss, you know, maybe I can fix anything. Well, maybe he's being straight about something. You know what I mean? Because we, we gotta we got to solve this thing. Um, so, what happened to him, man? I don't know. The last place he's seen is with you at your house. By you. I mean. What happened to him? I don't know, sir. Did he ever take his phone everywhere he went? Yeah, he took his phone everywhere. Why I never left your house? Huh? Why this phone never left your house? I don't know. Why did his phone go die at your house? It died at my house? It got turned off at your house. Why? That's a good question. Because he walked out the door talking to him. Really? Yes, sir. Did he ever go out the door by himself? Yeah. And you had the phone, he was talking on it when he left. He was talking to a corrupt when he left my house. He cranked up the car. All that. You know. With phone. With phone. Yes, sir. You sure? I bought him. So the phone come to line. The phone come to now? Yeah. What you mean? Because his phone turned off from their company at your house. 
Okay. You got the records. Okay. Is it wrong with that? How do you explain that? What you want me to say? I'm asking. I'm asking you to ask me. Listen, what, you what? were the one that was there. We need your help. That's you, what I'm saying. You tell what, it what, you, what you want me to say? I don't I don't know nobody's fault. You said that about his debit card. I, but I don't know nobody's fault. Okay. So he was an avid user of his phone. He's walking out he the door walking home and talking he, to somebody. He walk, he, he walk the car starts up. He pulls back. He leaves. You watch. You actually see the car pull off? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. But he's gone. The car I, didn't, I didn't actually watch because I told you I did back down on my son. So, but he leaves, but you saw him walking out the door, talking on the phone. Yeah, he was, asking, he was asking the cobras, did, she want, did he want her? And, and we didn't, you didn't find his phone on your property like you found his debit card. He took off. He left, right? Right. His phone right. makes it to your house. Don't leave. But it doesn't leave. His body's from across the street. At a vacant house. Let me tell you what I think happened, man. I think Spoon and Gallon knows that is, man. Say what? I think Spoon and Gallon knows that is. He got his check. He feeling good. As good as he normally feeling. Hey, come on, Tim. Let's go to the store. Let me do something for you. Go to the store, buy you a couple of things, throw a couple of dollars your way, come back to the house. You lay down. I mean, you eat your food, you lay down. Spoon come out, happy like he always is, on his eddies, feeling good. At this point, you feel comfortable. You giving yourself, you let him stay there. He, he got feelings towards you at this point. And then he get the courage. Maybe he touched you. Maybe he made you feel some way. Maybe, maybe he said something. Obviously you ain't with that. He should know that by now. And things get out of hand. No, that ain't what happened, sir. For one, he ain't had no edits. You said you didn't know if he did or not. He didn't have no, he didn't have his, he couldn't finish the script yet. But do you know if he had something or not? Right, you're right. I don't know if he had no. But I know he wouldn't, he didn't approach me in any kind of way. He didn't do that. He didn't approach me in any kind of way. Well, he did something. He didn't do nothing to me. Cause I mean, if he, he never if he, left. If he did something, man, maybe it's not a murder. Man, no, hell no. We ain't even to get in that conversation, period. Hell no. I ain't put my hand, I ain't never doing none of that, man, man. Did nothing to him? You no, know, sir. What time we pick you up? Huh? What time we pick you up? <clears throat> it's six o'clock now. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Who was the child's home left? Who did? What you think they did? He gave you that search warrant. What you think they've been doing? Searching. Search. <clears throat> what do you think they're finding your house? A 38. That's, That's what I'm saying. That's why I say because of accident, man. You didn't shoot him. Hell no, I ain't shooting him. Of course you did. We know we would have known. Who would have told you that? You would have killed him. You would have shot him. You would have killed him. You, you didn't want to kill him. You didn't expect to. You you thought he was a good guy to you. You you didn't want to kill him. Let me tell you how I know you didn't want to kill him, because everything he was doing was messy. It wasn't even a good job. What you talking about, man? There's stuff in your house. Yeah, very There's stuff in your trash. You're using this car. This is messy, man. This phone ain't leaving your house. You didn't try to do this. You didn't plan to do this. I didn't do it, period. I, I told you earlier, I like pictures. That helps us out a little bit. So, you telling me you did nothing. You did nothing. Well, I don't believe that I do this on purpose. I didn't do nothing. That's, that's him, as we found him, just so you have an idea. What? Uh, so, but your house, you recognize that couch? Yeah. That's your couch, right? Yeah. That's where you played, right? Yeah. You see something missing on the couch? Something look a little different? 
Yeah. You see that red stuff right there? It soaked into the foam beneath the fabric, stuff that you can't clean? Yeah. What do you think that is? What, is what do you uh, think it is? You tell me. What's the lab going to tell us that is? What's our test they doing going to tell us that is? You don't know? You don't think you know? Tell me what happened, man. No, I don't know, man. What is that? I don't know, man. You don't know? Something that's red on your couch and that phone. That's where Spooner died. I know that's where Spooner died. You gotta move your couch if you're gonna clean, bro. What's that? Here's a closer up. What's that? What's that, man? What's that right there? That big red stain. What is that? That's what I'm saying, man. This is messy. What is that? Not grape juice. It's not wine. You cared about this man, dude. This is your chance, Mr. Floyd. Man, I'm getting a cigarette now. But I thought. You want a cigarette? You want a cigarette? What kind of cigarette do you want? You do that, Mom? No. What you want? Newport. Newport? All right. A couple minutes. Finally, law enforcement has presented Floyd with photographic evidence that he can't deny. The detectives masterfully cornered Floyd by asking questions that boxed him in, and then released information contradicting his answers, bit by bit. By repeatedly insisting that Floyd killing Jonathan was an accident, they've attempted to make the crime look more acceptable and easier to confess to. Floyd's plea for a cigarette is the preface to his swan song, and boy does he sing. somebody found him. But just tell us what happened, man. You don't want to look like the cold blooded guy that just left him out there to the cold somebody that cared about you. Did he invade your space? Did he come on to you when you were, he obviously told him more than one time that it wasn't like that. I told you, man, those things create big problems. Come on, Tim. Just get to me straight, man. You had every opportunity. I mean, you could have... You, you didn't want to kill him. You... He did everything he could for you. You could have shot him with a gun, but it's not what you wanted to do. You didn't intend to do that, man. I don't believe that. I don't believe you intend to do that. You didn't get rid of him. You didn't do any of that stuff. 
you did a decent thing. Are those the same trash rags that's in your house? That was on the cigarette? Hmm? Those not the same trash rags? Man, man, go out like that, man. He went for you. What? Tell me what happened. We can't smoke so that somebody will get it, man. That's why I wanted to tell somebody to get it. Tell us what Tell them what happened, man. So he hits the head on the heater. Did he start bleeding? What happened? You would have where you get That's what we're trying to do. So you got to tell him. That's why I told you you got to be honest. Man. I ain't intentionally trying to do that to that man, man. Well, shit, man. He ain't really need me no damn choice, man. Yeah, I mean, he knew you wasn't down for that. He ain't really need me no damn choice, man. So where did you put the hammer? Right there. It's still up my hole. So what happened after Did you clean it? Yeah, I cleaned it. Yeah, I cleaned it. What happened after, um, what, what day did this happen on? It happened on Wednesday. He never left, did he? That's no. He never left your house after y'all went to the house. <clears throat> so this happened Wednesday. So what, so he's, is he, he died on your floor in the right here? Yeah. No. And I was freaked out, man. And what'd you do? Damn, man, I fucked up, man. But I ain't asked for that shit. Man. I know, it's in your lap now. And you gotta deal with it. You, he, 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 he hit you? I, you I, ain't, I ain't asked for that shit. Yeah. So, so what you been saying? You did, man. I told you from the beginning, this is your chance to tell us what happened. We wasn't there. The man, he murdered down. I'm gonna move my damn foot, man. The man really grabbed, he grabbed my I don't know what kind of pier he was on. How did you do that? Did you lay down or stay? I was laying down. Where? On my sofa. You was laying down on the sofa? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And how did he grab you? You reach in your pants? He just walked up to me and just palm my shit. On the outside of your pants? Yeah. Right, so they palmed you on the outside? Yeah. Right, right. He say anything first? Wow. Yeah. Right. What happened before he did that? Were you eating your food? I ate my food. Is he coming on you at all? What's going on? No, uh -huh. he wasn't coming on to me then. Was he eating his food? He didn't have no food. Okay, so you all the food was for you? Yeah, he said he was going to go get his own shit. So he waited till you lay down? Yeah. 
So after you guys fight and y'all tussle, what do you, he goes unconscious, what do you do with him? I just freak out, man. You call anybody? How'd you, when you freaked out, what'd you do, with, how did you, what did you, where did you put him? It was in all down kitchen. You left him in the kitchen? Did you wrap him up? I did. I put some under the head so it won't stop bleeding. I should have just called him up and pulled him. Yeah. Is that the plastic bag you put on his head? Yeah, I should have called the police. But I, I, I ain't put it over his nose. I just put it where the wound was at so it won't bleed like that. I should have just called the police, man. But I, I, I sit down, man. I don't hit this man at the helmet, man. I don't want to be a friend of mine. They're going to take my word even though this man don't hit me. Yeah, I mean... You're right, don't look good. He hit me with a damn helmet. Let, let's talk about what else you do to him. You ever try to light him on fire? Hell no. Hell no. So what, That's savage as f***. Uh -huh. What, what, when you rap, when he came in the living room and you, he palmed you, y'all fight, he ended up going unconscious and bleed. Right. You pull him into the kitchen? Yeah. When do you wrap him up? We pass all the other stuff now. You everything be straight, man. You, you, you had to, you, you said you had to redo really it because he hit you, man. Tell me what happened next. Did you put your gloves on? He wrapped his head up. So the blood went everywhere. Yes. And you pull him in the kitchen. What happened next? I sat down, man. I sat down, man, because man, I was in shock, man. And this is all Wednesday. I was in shock, bro. Yeah. I know you didn't ask for that, man. I know you're just trying to take care of your friend. You know, putting you in a bad situation. How many times do you think you hit him? Did you just black out? Bro? No, I ain't black out. I hit him about four times. Both sides of the helmet or just one? Mm -hmm. The claw side or the, 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 the hands up? People grabbing me, man. Yeah. Where you hit him on the back of the head? Front of the head? I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna go see if I saw cigarettes on him. You said you were on too, man? Yeah. After three hours, the truth is finally out. Well, most of it at least. Jonathan's autopsy revealed that he was bludgeoned between seven and eight times, not four, as Floyd claimed. To this day, there has also been no evidence that Jonathan was romantically or sexually interested in his killer, and the nature of their relationship remains a mystery. The detectives have a few final words for Floyd as they prepare to get him something to eat and transport him to holding. Thanks, bud. I wish you the best, man. I went telling you know what. You okay? Yes, sir. I ain't anticipate trying to kill that man, sir. Man, I, I wish it would have never happened, man. I, I know you cared about him, man. I know. I can see it in your eyes, I can see it in your heart. He violated me, man. And we're going to tell it as you said it. I mean, it's. No game. I mean, I, eventually I'm going to say I'm going to call the state attorney's office, present everything to him, tell him what you told us. I mean, it's through the final decision maker. But, you have a seat for me, me? You need some food? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to go see if I can get you something to eat. You have a seat for me. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. 
Hey man, you know, yes, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, let him know, sir. I very remorseful. This ain't cold blooded, man. I'll tell him. I will. I mean, man, make sure you tell him that, man. I will. But that may be them calling me back here. So we go have a conversation, and I'll get you something to eat. All right. On March 3rd, 2023, Timothy Floyd was found guilty of manslaughter rather than homicide. However, his previous felonies enhanced his sentence. Ultimately, he was sentenced to life in prison with a 30-year mandatory minimum term.